Two small spacecraft, launched nearly half a century ago, now drift silently in the vast dark expanse between the stars. These are the Voyager probes, each carrying with them the hopes and dreams of an entire planet, quietly journeying farther than any human-made object has ever gone before. They are humanity's farthest flung emissaries, our silent ambassadors to the cosmos, venturing into realms where no signal from Earth has ever been sent, and where no human eyes have ever gazed. The Voyager probes are more than just machines. They are extensions of our curiosity, our desire to know what lies beyond. Every bolt and circuit is a testament to our ingenuity and our relentless quest to understand the universe. They carry our hopes, our music, our science, and a simple greeting from a small blue world. On board, the golden records contain the sounds of our planet, waves crashing, birds singing, greetings in dozens of languages, and music from across cultures and centuries. This is the story of a message in a bottle, cast not into an earthly ocean, but into the grand cosmic sea. It is a message meant for anyone or anything that might one day find it, drifting through the endless night. For the first time, we have sent objects beyond the protective bubble of our sun's influence, the heliosphere. The voyagers have crossed into true interstellar space, leaving behind the warmth and light of our solar system. These probes are now travelers in interstellar space, the true void between star systems. Out here, the distances are almost unimaginable, and the silence is absolute. Their lonely voyage through the darkness is a profound statement about the audacity and the spirit of human exploration. Against all odds, we dare to send our creations into the unknown, trusting that our message might one day be heard. Voyager 1, the faster of the two, is now over 24 billion kilometers from home. It is so far away that the sun itself is just another star in the sky, barely brighter than the rest. Light itself takes more than 22 hours to travel that distance. A radio signal sent today will not reach Voyager until nearly a full day has passed and its reply will take just as long to return. The spacecraft are powered by the faint warmth of decaying plutonium, a power source that will likely fall silent within this decade. As their power fades, their voices grow ever fainter, soon to be lost in the cosmic background. Yet, even after their instruments cease to function, their journey will continue, carrying their golden records through the Milky Way for billions of years. Long after Earth itself has changed, these silent messengers will still be wandering the galaxy. As we stand here today, we are living witnesses to the final chapter of their operational lives. The engineers and scientists who guided them now watch as their signals grow weaker, knowing that the end is near. We are privileged to be listening to the final whispers from the edge of our solar system, a message from the great beyond. In these faint signals, we hear not just the story of two spacecraft, but the story of humanity's longing to reach out, to explore, and to be remembered by the universe. The story of Voyager begins with a remarkable discovery in the 1960s, a time when space exploration was still in its infancy and the world was captivated by the possibilities of reaching beyond Earth. Gary Flandro, a young engineer at NASA, made a groundbreaking observation. In the late 1970s, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune would align in a rare cosmic configuration, a planetary lineup that happens only once every 176 years, offering a unique window for exploration. This extraordinary alignment meant that a single spacecraft could use the gravity of each giant planet to slingshot itself onward, gaining speed and changing direction, a technique called gravity assist. This made the ambitious grand tour of the outer planets not just possible, but efficient and achievable within a human lifetime. Recognizing the fleeting nature of this opportunity, NASA moved quickly, designing and building two identical robotic explorers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, each packed with cutting-edge technology for their time. Their primary mission was to conduct close-up studies of Jupiter and Saturn, capturing images and data never before seen. If Voyager 2 survived, it would continue onward to Uranus and Neptune, venturing farther than any spacecraft before. Each Voyager carried 11 sophisticated scientific instruments designed to analyze magnetic fields, atmospheres, moons, and the mysterious environments of the outer solar system, unlocking secrets hidden for billions of years. The mission's success was a testament to human ingenuity and determination. Navigating billions of kilometers through the void, guided by computers less powerful than those found in today's simplest electronic devices. The launch in 1977 was a moment of hope and excitement, marking the beginning of an epic journey that would push the boundaries of human knowledge and imagination. Born from a fleeting cosmic window, the Voyager mission forever changed our understanding of the solar system.
inspiring generations to look up and wonder what lies beyond the next horizon. Tucked away on each Voyager spacecraft is a golden phonograph record, a time capsule crafted for any intelligent life that might one day discover it, drifting through the vastness of space. Championed by the visionary Carl Sagan, the record is more than just a collection of sounds and images. It's a carefully curated portrait of humanity, encoded in both sound and pictures, meant to represent the essence of our world. It contains 115 images, scenes of life on Earth from bustling cities to serene landscapes, diagrams of our solar system, the double helix of DNA, and detailed illustrations of human anatomy, all chosen to tell our story visually. There are sounds of wind, rain, waves, birds, whales, and the voices of humanity, laughter, a baby's cry, a heartbeat, capturing the rhythms and melodies of life on our planet. The record features a 90-minute selection of music from around the world, Bach, Beethoven, a Navajo chant, a Peruvian wedding song and more, showcasing the diversity and creativity of human culture through melody and rhythm. Greetings in 55 languages offer a simple, peaceful welcome from Earth, each voice extending a hand of friendship to the unknown, expressing hope and goodwill. The cover is etched with instructions and a map showing our sun's location using pulsars, a cosmic address, so that any finder might trace our place in the galaxy. The golden record was a bold gesture. Its chances of being found are tiny, almost infinitesimal, but its real purpose was to inspire us to reflect on who we are and what we wish to share with the universe. It's a message to the cosmos, and just as importantly, a message to ourselves, a reminder of our shared humanity and our longing to connect. It forced us to consider how we want to be remembered, what legacy we wish to leave behind, and how we define ourselves as a species. The Voyager record is humanity's greeting card to the universe, a hopeful golden message sailing endlessly through the stars, carrying our story into the unknown. In 1979, the Voyager probes began their encounter with Jupiter, sending back revolutionary images. We saw the Great Red Spot as a swirling storm, Jupiter's faint rings, and a dynamic atmosphere. The Galilean moons astonished us. Europa's icy surface hinted at a subsurface ocean, Ganymede's grooved terrain, and Io's erupting volcanoes, the first seen beyond Earth. After Jupiter, the probes moved on to Saturn, revealing its rings as thousands of ringlets and discovering shepherd moons shaping the rings. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, was found to have a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, rich in organic chemistry. Voyager 1's path took it out of the solar system's plane, while Voyager 2 was set for Uranus. These encounters transformed our understanding of the outer planets, the images and data revealed worlds more complex and beautiful than we had ever imagined. The Grand Tour was living up to its promise. Voyager's journey was just beginning. After Saturn, Voyager 2 journeyed to Uranus, arriving in 1986. It revealed a planet tipped on its side with a serene blue-green atmosphere and new moons and rings. Uranus's magnetic field was bizarre, tilted and offset, hinting at a slushy, conductive ocean inside. The brief flyby rewrote our understanding of this distant world. In 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, discovering the great dark spot, supersonic winds, and new moons and rings. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, was found to have active ice volcanoes, cryovolcanoes, erupting nitrogen frost. These encounters revealed the ice giants as dynamic, mysterious worlds. With Neptune behind it, Voyager 2 headed into the interstellar void. The Grand Tour had reached its spectacular finale. With the planets behind them, the Voyagers began their interstellar mission, exploring the edge of the sun's influence. They crossed the termination shock, where the solar wind slows and collides with interstellar gas. In 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, officially entering interstellar space, a first for any human-made object. Voyager 2 followed in 2018, giving us a three-dimensional view of this frontier. The data revealed a denser interstellar plasma and a strong galactic magnetic field. As of today, Voyager 1 is over 24.8 billion kilometers from the Sun. Voyager 2 is not far behind. Even at 17 kilometers per second, it will take 40,000 years for Voyager 1 to approach another star. Their journey has only just begun. The Voyagers are now our eyes and ears in the space between the stars. They are true pioneers of the interstellar ocean. The signals from the Voyagers are now faint whispers, barely reaching Earth's giant radio antennas. Yet these whispers carry priceless data about the interstellar medium, the stuff of stars and planets. In 2023, Voyager 1 suffered a memory glitch, sending back gibberish. Engineers at JPL devised a clever fix, restoring all four science instruments by mid-2024. 
the data now received is precious. Plasma waves, cosmic rays, and magnetic fields revealing the true nature of interstellar space. But time is running out, the probe's power is fading, and instruments are being shut down one by one. By 2030, the voyagers will fall silent. We are listening to the final words of humanity's greatest explorers. Their legacy will echo long after the last signal fades. Voyager's legacy is more than scientific. It's cultural, political, and deeply personal. The mission transformed distant planets into dynamic worlds and gave us our first direct look at interstellar space. The golden record became a symbol of unity, presenting Earth as a single civilization. Voyager's images, especially the pale blue dot, remind us of our fragility and interconnectedness. The mission inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and dreamers. Voyager was born from the Cold War, but became a universal symbol of hope and exploration. It highlights the folly of our conflicts and the preciousness of our home. As Linda Spilker said, Voyager is a story of human perseverance and curiosity. It holds up a mirror, showing us our place in the universe. The mission's true gift is perspective. Voyager encourages us to be better stewards of our pale blue dot. As Voyager's final signals fade, we contemplate their endless journey through the Milky Way. They are our silent monuments, enduring long after we are gone. Their mission forces us to think on cosmic timescales and our place in history. Space exploration is about perspective, understanding our origins and destiny. Voyager inspires us to dream, to solve problems, and to reach beyond our horizon. The journey is a call to action, to build the next generation of explorers. As we say farewell to these machines, let's see this as a beginning, not an end. Voyager has opened the door to the interstellar ocean. Now, it's up to us to continue the voyage. We are children of the cosmos, ready to explore our true home.